In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the rear cover or the back glass on the iPhone 15 Pro. Begin by powering down the device and then placing it on the hot plate for about 10 to 15 minutes. It wants to be really nice and warm because the adhesive that holds this glass on is really, really tough and difficult to remove. You can use a heat gun or a hairdryer to achieve the same effect but just be aware, don't hold it on the camera lenses too long because there's a risk you'll damage them. And also that it just takes a little bit longer to get it nice and warm. On the bottom of the phone, there's two pentalobe screws. Go ahead and remove both of those and store them safely for reinstallation later. The glass on these back covers tends to shoot off everywhere. So I'm gonna put some tape on it as well. So I'll just use some, uh, some Gorilla tape just to cover it all up. And it's just gonna, it, it genuinely makes things a bit easier doing it this way because this these glass shards end up absolutely everywhere when you're doing these. And cut it on the bottom. We're not rushing this, by the way. It's not a job that needs to be rushed. So now I'm gonna attach a suction cup. Just to note that it, the suction cup is usually a bit crap when uh, when it's really broken. I don't know if it's gonna stick on or not. We'll try our best. But it just, nah, it's not gonna have it. Not gonna have it. Even with the best tape in the world, it wouldn't have that. So instead, we go to plan B, and plan B is to get the Dorco blade, and we're gonna insert it in between the very edge of the glass at the bottom and the chassis. Insert it there, and add a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol, and you see it's sort of getting swallowed up into the phone. Don't insert it too far. What we're gonna do is get a plastic opening pick and that's going to make it a lot easier to get into this and what I'm trying to do is sort of pry it upwards to separate and peel off the adhesive honestly the adhesive on these is really really tough sometimes what you got to do is put the pick in quite far and then sort of pull back to almost cut through and lift up it's just to it's not an easy job taking this off. It probably looks, I don't know. I actually, I don't think I make it look easy, this one. There's some jobs what I think I do probably make look easy. But if anything, I'll probably make this one look hard. This phone's warm, like I got distracted by something and I've left this on probably a little bit longer than 10, 15 minutes. And it's still difficult to remove. So just really take your time with this. When it's cracked, this is what makes it hard. Like, see that bit there? It's just, just difficult that's the best way to describe it that's where the glue is where that where that um, crack is so all that happens you lift it up and it leaves behind a bit of glass so where where it's really cracked here I'm just gonna get the um, tweezers and pick out those bits of glass to try and make it a little bit easier but it's still pretty difficult so when we're in this camera area as well, what we don't want to be doing is like sending shards of glass into that area. Because obviously cameras and glass dust and shards don't mix well together. So just be aware to take your time. Should have got a good bit to go at now. If I lift that there and go back down to the bottom area. I just had to go and deal with a customer and I've put it down and it's uh, stuck back down. So this back cover, there is some cables over this side. So what I'm being careful of is not to get underneath them and cause myself problems. But once we've got like a good hold of it, I can lift it up like that, look, and then I've got access to it. What we've got is one tri-wing screw just there. We'll just carefully remove that. Store it somewhere nice and safe. And what we can get now is the plastic pick and just ping that cable off. So now just unfold that and just sort of snap it away. Just like that. There we go. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So now we will be left with some broken shards of glass and adhesive. I'm going to use this little number four 
or 4A Exacto blade. I always forget which one it is. Pry away any of the broken glass. If you have one, the spinny metal tool, the spindle tool, whatever you want to call it, it will really help remove the adhesive. I'll try and put a link to one in the description below. It'll be an AliExpress link. They are affiliate links, so I do appreciate people who buy stuff through those links, but you know what, one of these little tools. I remember watching videos where I'm like, what the hell even is that, right? Basically, it's just an electric motor with a little spindle on the end of it. And this spins round and it creates friction and it just like grabs hold of the glue. It's hard to explain because it, it sort of happens instantly. And it just spins and the glue sticks to the spindle and pulls it off. It don't work well when the glass is in the way. But yeah, these spinny tools, that's what I call it, Ollie's Magic Spinny Tool. If you've not got one, I would highly recommend one. It's not perfect for everything, but like, if you're regularly repairing devices and removing this adhesive from iPhones and or off the back of Android devices, then I would strongly recommend one of those. So just the leftover bits of adhesive I'm getting with the um, the exacto blade, making sure that I get as much of it removed as humanly possible, and then just this top area which has stayed a bit cruddy. What I'm going to try and avoid doing, and I've, I've, this is sort of something I've learnt from the error in my ways, I suppose is not using liquids to clean up. Unless it's really bad, then I'll put something over the cameras and, and use some alcohol or acetone. But what I find is if you use a brush, it tends to like spray little micro dropules, drops, dropules, what are they? Drops of like isopropyl alcohol or acetone onto the camera lens and can cause problems. So instead I just avoid using liquids altogether instead opting for just chopping it off, making sure that it's really nice and clean. I suppose if you wanted, you could get a, a clean room wipe with a small bit of alcohol on, uh, but I'll definitely not use it around the cameras. Um, because like I say, I have uh, learned from errors. That's why we make mistakes, isn't it? So we can learn from them. So I've just, this is pretty much dry. It's got a very small amount of uh, alcohol on this cloth and I'm not going to take it any further past that point. Maybe what about a cotton bud we could use? But otherwise that's that's pretty clean. I'm happy. Now we need to put an adhesive on it. It's the same as we do with every adhesive that we install. Start in the top left. Follow it through on this left hand edge. The rest of it will follow suit. Peel off the top layer and leave that last blue, the thin blue layer behind. Let's see, and that looks pretty neat. And then the part that I'm using, let me zoom out a bit so you can see. We've got a genuine pull. You can see that it's a genuine one because it's got some adhesive left over. We're gonna clean this up. It comes with the flash, the wireless charging coil and the rear mic already installed on it. I'm just gonna warm it up so I can clean up the adhesive there. I'll be, of course, using my spinny tool once it's warm. See how it just pulls it straight off? That's what I'm talking about. It's literally a very, very simple case. This is the hard bit is getting the old glass off and cleaning it up. The easy bit is connecting this to this. Look, very easy. Connected. We're back on. Now I'll go and get the. We've got three screws. Look. We need the shield, which is this guy. Just sit that into place. Let's make sure you can see. Line it up, sit it down. And then use the blue driver to secure that into place. That's secured down now. All we need to do is peel off the remaining adhesive. We want a little dust blower. Just make sure that there's no dust on these cameras. Make sure it's clean. 
make sure it's nice dust blower will do it same with those lenses and i'm just closing it up now securing it down make sure it lines up pop these screws back in the bottom and because it's a genuine official apple parts when we turn the phone back on well actually it's turned itself back on i'm going to turn the phone off i'm going to plug this into a power delivery cable however at the same time i'm going to press the volume up button and volume down button i'm going to plug it in because we can actually recalibrate this back glass so i'm pressing down volume and up volume usually it's a bit quicker than that but i didn't press the plug or turn the power on um so what we're going to do now that we've got the apple logo we release that and then in a minute it does take a minute it's going to go into diagnostic mode we can connect to wi-fi and then follow the instructions for the part configuration and it's just going to reconfigure that and register with apple's servers that it's got a new back cover i don't think it does any real calibration um but if we continue connect to wi-fi and then it'll take us to the next step which will be to identify that there's a new part installed so we agree to the terms and conditions finish repair it should pick up the new back cover in a minute back glass this is a genuine apple part it is used however it is a genuine part it takes literally seconds to configure it and this just means when we when we hand it back to the customer it's already done and dusted and ready to ready to give it back without any notifications coming up. The phone will restart now. I can't show it you in settings because I don't have access to this phone. It's a customer device. But if you go into settings now, you go to settings general about parts and service, and it will say that it's a used back cover that's installed on the phone. With that done, we just need to give it a little wash. But that is job done it looks really good actually that one very very tidy job again thanks for watching see you in the next video